So now that we have these these three kind of core truth tables, the or, the and, and the not. Right, let, let's take a look and see how we can use it to do some some larger, more, more complex statements. All right, so I want to take a look at this one. We, we did P and Q, right? Well, how about P and not Q? What does that look like? Well, I'm going to follow my, my same approach, right? I'm going to start the same way. You'll, you'll get used to writing these pretty quickly, right? I'm going to write out all four combinations. Then I'm going to do the copying over. I'm going to copy the P into here. True, true, false, and false. Now here I've got not Q. Remember what that not, the negation does. It just reverses the values. So I'm going to put the opposite of the Q column. And I got to fill in the and. Right? And, and now this is where you go to the to the to the to the flash cards, the three by five card I, I recommended you make, right? And you, and you just start looking, right? You, you're you're looking at your and card, and you're saying, okay, what does T and F evaluate to? Well, that's F. T and T is true. F and F is false. F and T is false, and that's it. Right, we're done. This line, this column here, is the final result. Or right, so how about this one? Right, it's a little, a little bigger now. Um, you can pause if you like. I mean, maybe give it a try yourself. If you think you're ready, uh, then start it back up, and we'll do it together. Okay, so first, start where we always start. True, 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 false, false, true, false, false. And then copy it over. So I've got the P's here, true, true, false, false. And I've got P again here. That's true, false, oh, whoops, excuse me. I jumped ahead to a Q. True, true, false, false. And finally, the Q's are true, false, true, false. Now you got to start doing the ands and the ors. And just like with algebra, right, you got to respect the parentheses. This is the one. I'm going to do first because it's inside the parentheses. It's an and, and it's just P and Q here, so it's not a not, there's no negations in there or anything. So you can really just go to your and table and copy the values down. Or the, the, the way I always, always think of this, just for myself to remember, an and statement is only true when both of the two inputs are true. So what I'll do is I'll go through here and I'll look and I'll say, okay, find the true, true rows. Everything else gets an F. Okay, so where do we go next? Well, I want you to, to kind of think of what we're doing here as, in a sense, it's simplifying. All right, so what I've done here is I've taken this whole statement and I've simplified it down to this one column. So we really don't even need these anymore right now what i'm looking at is this column here and this column here right and if i do uh, excuse me that's an or not an and right that's or so true or true is true true or false is true false or false uh, is false and I've got the same thing here. So this is my final result, All right? In, in a way, it's, think of it like this. If, if you want to, if you want an arithmetic analogy, let's say I asked you to do three plus five plus two, right? How do you do this? Well, you, you do the parentheses first. This is three plus seven. You know, the five and two are gone, right? I don't care about the five or two anymore. This whole thing got replaced with this. It's the same thing down here with my logical statement. This whole thing got replaced with this column. Okay, so what's next? Um, we're we're going to do some more. Right, we're we're going to do some more of these. But, and, and again, um, we're going to kind of keep working our way up. We've done ones with two variables. Well, how about three? I mean, how, how far can we kind of continue to take this?